Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Sirota Tarot. I hope everybody is having a fairly decent end to the week. I know I'm bullshitting. I know y'all are struggling. I'm struggling too. There's a lot of shit going on. I know. This is a weekend update for Taurus. We roll in Friday the 17th, tomorrow through Tuesday, next Tuesday the 21st. As always, a little bit of overlap between the weekly update and the weekend update. Go back to the weekly update if you want to see where to connect the dots. Thank you to everybody that has liked, shared, and subscribed. I love y'all so much. Y'all are awesome. I think y'all are great. I really do. Um, who was it that hit me up? I think Amanda Siri. Hi, baby. I got your message. Thank you. Uh, Terry Garcia was happening. Carolyn. How y'all doing? Um, what's going on for Taurus? Let me just get the cards on the board. Because this is emotional shit that we're dealing with. Um, a lot of people dealing with a lot of changes. The fuck? You know, if this was some shit I could put in a bottle and sell. Okay, that's where we at though. Um, and patience is, is, is hard one right now. It just is. Change for tomorrow. Saturday's pulling forgiveness. Sunday's pulling adventure. Look at all these fucking fives. The hell. <laughs> uh, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Stand your ground. Damn, back to that shit. And Tuesday, rebirth. Let me see. Bottom of this deck. Compassion. Top of the deck. <laughs> You know, she just got to make a fucking appearance. Who the hell? Who the hell? Okay, we're going to just leave them there. So let's see what we got going on. Bottom of this deck. Overall energy. Hermit. On top of prosperity begins. Ten of wands goes on patience. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear all the moans and groans and shit. Here we go with the cups. Five of cups sitting on top of... The change, forgiveness for Saturday, seven of coins, Sunday adventure, pulls a magician, Monday stand your ground, pulls a king of coins, and Tuesday, rebirth, pulls a two of cups. And so there was another reading I saw, uh, it is a soul moon tarot, but it's the harsh truth, that's the name of the video, she, she, I, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing now, because her name has just floated out of my brain. But I, I watched her a little while ago, and she had her, her the whole reading, the harsh truth, just cups everywhere, and more cups, and then some more cups. So I'm not surprised to see these cups here, um, because a lot of us are wrestling with um, a lot of emotional things right now, a lot of people dealing with the kids, and the hell you're going to do with them, and September, October, hell, shit, August. Um, a lot of people trying to figure out how they're going to work this job thing. I know in the state that I live in right now, they extended the eviction moratorium so nobody can get thrown out. It's that kind of energy where it's like, the fuck we getting ready to do. Um, and so, for many of us, because we are, the, we, we are the kings and queens of pentacles. Earth signs, we run that shit. Just saying. So for many of us, we've, got, we've already got a feeling of prosperity beginning. Um, whether it's money, new relationship, uh, more toys to play with. Those of you that are big kids and like all your creature comforts, this is where you are right now. Uh, trying to find that little nook that will allow you to do this. And so you know the hermit has been popping his head up just like old girl with the transformation over here. Every chance he gets, he pops up like, hey, how you doing? And so this is major energy, folks. Um. You need to be thinking about changes. And again, with all these damn fucking fives on the damn thing, to hell, you know, I mean, what you want? What you want? Um, change is already happening. And if it's not happening to you in your life personally, like me, a lot of this shit that's going on is just not affecting me because I'm in the house most of the time. Anyway, but... Things are changing. And so, Taurus, if you aren't already doing this, you probably should be. 
trying to come up with a game plan. In all of the change, there is massive opportunity. I can't stress that enough. Huge. So if you've got some nugget of an idea to do something, now is a good time to try your hand at it. I'm just saying. But this is where we are this weekend. Just fuck everybody and fuck it all. I need, need some me time, self-love, self-care, and I need to think about my next moves with an S. Bottom end of the overall energy, Lord, you can pick up one more damn straw. You're going to fall out. And a lot of us are feeling this stress because we're trying to get them ends met. Get them bills paid. And kids, figure out the hell we're going to do with them. You got to have this. Dealing with all this bullshit, I just promise you, you got to have some patience. If you got to borrow your neighbors, you got to have some patience. I know people tired of waiting, ready to go and just tear up some shit because you're tired of waiting. But it will be well worth the wait. I told you at the end of last year, this year for Taurus was going to be about processes. And I'll be damned. Ain't that the truth? So patience. Patience. It feels like most of you are just kind of resigned. It's not a joyful thing for us to just... We want to... Tauruses want to be patient when they want to be patient. You know, see, we want to do shit so we can just be lazy. Hell, we're bulls. What do you want? So we want to just chill. Get out in the meadow and get with the daisies and just look around and sniff around and do our thing. Patience. We like to get things done. So patience, even though we, we're good with it, if we know we in most of us, that's where we are. We know we're good at being patient. Of, uh, so you just grind through it. This is not happy. Oh, I'm going to wait. No. Nah. It's like you've just resigned yourself to being patient because you know you can't force nothing to happen because so many things are out of your control. Try to keep the stress levels down. Walk if you need to. Dance if you need to. Get your head set your earbuds play Beyonce slide around the house for a few minutes and get some of that pressure off of you because it's not doing you any good to just walk around huffing and puffing and flaring your tail up trying to sharpen your horns and then you run it into a wall no yeah, no so try to get rid of some of the the energy of the stress whatever that means for you that means you need to just run around the house five times try to get some of that off of you and remember to be patient. Looking at tomorrow's energy with the five of cups sitting on change. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And most of us, this is not even a real thing right now. But you are thinking about past relationships, current relationships, decisions you've made decisions other people made because they thought you made a different kind of decision it's all that kind of shit all tangled up together at the end of all of this everything that you know about whatever you, you pitter pondering about right now it's going to change it's going to change so for an example if you have an ex that popped up out the blue during one of them retrogrades venus mercury whatever and they're still kind of hanging around like uh hey how you doing Expect change. Expect change. Things are not the same. While you're sitting there dwelling on the past, a lot of what you're dwelling on, and this, I love this card because it just got so much in it, but it's very simple. You're dwelling on what just fell apart, but you still got them two cups standing up there in the back. It's always something to be born out of the chaos and drama of drama. To put it like that. So if you have an ex and y'all did, didn't work the first time, didn't click, whatever, expect the change. Because it's not what you think it is anymore. And see, while well, I just said there's a lot of changes going on, we're not the only ones changing. Even though we may be the only ones with Uranus in our sign currently, I'm not going to let nobody ever forget that part. We're not the only one going through changes. So just be mindful of that. Everybody is going through something potential love mates they're changing as well so just be mindful of that and the expectation that shit's just going to be like it was before and this is particularly for those of you that are dealing with people from your past down here come back to that um try to try to look at what's really going on take another look and see if the same person has grown past all the bullshit that you went through previously. 
which then takes us to Saturday. And there may be spots there. Let me let me hit the pause button and say, this is a, a love reading. Let's just get that part clear. Love, L-O-V-E. Okay. Unpause. So you're dwelling on all of this that's happened before. What the hell? Misery loves company and most shit. Now it's time to start thinking about forgiveness. And not because you're trying to get back together, if that's the case, or you're trying to rebuild your friendship or your relationship or your situation. None of that. You need to do this for yourself. That comes right back up here to that. See, you can't, people don't understand, you can't be prosperous and, and just got a bunch of hating shit in your heart. It, it don't work. It does not work. And if you get it, it ain't long lasting because you're too full of some bullshit. No pun intended. So this is not for the other person. This is for you. So you can let go of the past and move forward. Just saying. A lot of, lot of y'all and bulls say what you want to. Y'all click and swipe left and hit the off button, whatever. But a lot of bulls we hold grudges for a long time. Some of us hold them forever. And we don't realize all of that grudge holding takes up a lot of energy and space. Even if it's some shit that happened 20 years ago, it's still taking up energy and space. So you have to forgive so you can move forward and be prosperous and start achieving. I'll be damned. Some of the shit you want to achieve. Some of the things that you planted. This is our energy. This is coins right here. But it comes here first. And with forgiveness, you're not just forgiving the person that did you wrong. Somebody did me wrong. You're not just forgiving them. You're forgiving yourself as well. And I think that's where most of us forget a lot of stuff. We're so busy trying to work on, work on forgiving somebody else when we really just need to take the moment and say, Self, I'm sorry. I did some dumb shit and I put you in a bad spot. I'm just saying. We get to Sunday's energy or Monday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, Sunday's energy. It's time to start taking some risk. Y'all like, what the fuck? Time to start taking some risk. Second major card. On, second, on, and the only other major card on the board. So... As you're in this mode, you need to be thinking about what magic tricks you can come up with. You got it. You got everything you need right there. Earth thing. Candlelight. Knife. Plant. Vase. Some more shit. You got this. You might have to super glue it up and paper clip it and tape it and do some other shit. But you got this. And you need to spend the time with yourself. So you can do this. And y'all like, what kind of adventure? Don't worry, don't, don't, don't get caught up. But again, this is a love reading, so just get ready. And it's going to be changes. And people that you've been dealing with are going to change. They are changing. Them fives and double nickels up there. Double nickels are really telling me you and whomever are ready for this adventure, wink, wink. But you got to get through the little details. Somebody may be holding back on you. Somebody may not be telling you the whole thing. Give them some time. I promise you they're going to open it up. This wouldn't be here if they weren't. I'm just saying. I and mean, then they ask me how I know. I don't know. But this wouldn't be here. you dwelling on the past. And the shit that happened. And for some of you, this is still fresh. You know, you can't get the red wine stain out your white carpet. It is fresh. But know that it's a change. Whoever did it, they've changed. Situation is changing. That person has changed. See that vibe up there? So the two of y'all, come on. Hmm. Can make this shit happen. We get to Monday's energy. The king ain't talking about nothing but firm foundation and stability. But you are going to have to stand your ground. 
just because you know this person. For those of you that's resonating with, just because you've been through some shit with this person. Those of you that I'm talking to and this is resonating with, don't mean shit if you don't stand your ground. For some of you, I can't even say that. For those of you that this applies to, the person you're dealing with is looking to see uh, if you're going to stand your ground. Now, you, I don't know the situation. I'm pretty sure if this is resonating with you, when you get to this point, whatever magical time of the day this happens to come about, you'll know what it is. And you need to stand your ground. Baby, I love you, but that's some bullshit right there. And if that's how you got to come out and say it, well, consider it said. But stand your ground. Don't let anybody think, you know, you forgiving them to the point where and it doesn't feel like who, whoever we're dealing with here, if I want to break that part of the energy down, it doesn't feel like this person wants to come back to you if they are the culprit. It doesn't feel like they want to come back to you and fuck you around like they did the first time. They've changed. They've learned something. Come on. So this is on offer. The king. And see, we like the king because we're, we're pentacle people. We're coin people. We're earth people. This is our shit right here. So the person offering it up, this is what they're offering. You may not hear it at first, Taurus. But at any rate, you need to put up the boundaries and stand your ground. For some of you, this may be outside people trying to comment on why, why, why they coming back with all that. Trying to buy you off. You may hear that. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Whatever this person is doing, anybody on the outside ain't got shit to say. So stand your ground. For a very few of you, this may be family related. And you may have to back that up and just back people up off of you. You're not going to have it. You don't want to hear it. You're doing what you think is best. Which then brings us to Tuesday. Kickoff point. It is now time for the rebirth of said relationship. Notice, one and six makes seven all day long. So, for some of you, you're going to have to get defensive about this relationship because there's people in the, the outer rims wanting to make comments. Some of you, it may be family. Others of you, it may be friends. It may be uh, people that you work with that may know a little something and got something to say. I'm like, what you do that for? Put him out. Man. You can bring him back. Don't worry about it. But this is about the rebirth. And if you look at this two of cups, I see the flower down there. That is always a good omen to see something growing around lovers. Because that means you're growing. And you're doing something, something in your environment that's making other things grow. That's an awesome thing. Rebirth. The rebirth of cool. How about that? Take your time going through this energy, Taurus, for those of you that are making this kind of decision. I know it's not the easiest, especially if this person is coming out of the Five of Cups energy from six months ago, six years ago, two years ago, whatever, and they dogged you out, hurt you, cheated on you, did some other shit, and now it would appear that they're coming back. But in that process, the work that you need to do with forgiveness the work that you need to do to accept that this person has changed, do it. Do it. It'll be well worth your time. So taking that hermit time out, getting some of the, that tension off of you, the ten of wands, do what you need to do to make that happen. Um, this is playing a part. You're so nervous and tense and upset and stressed out and shit. It'll make you focus on just that. And you, you're so stressed out, you don't even see the rest of it. This is all you get. That's all you're looking at. Last time you to get That part. Just saying. Take this weekend for a hermit moment to reflect on where you want to go in the future. That the prosperity begins is in your overall energy and the king of coin down here at the bottom 
all sides will go. Take your time, stand your ground, put out the right boundaries that you want to set up this time. So you don't have all of that, so you can just have that. Two of cups. Uh, two of cups. I'm just saying. Recognize that the person that you're thinking about or that we're talking about right now has changed. Things are not the same. You are on their mind. However, that's resonating with them. You are front and center, even though they may be doing something with someone else. You are on their mind. Let's see what the Oracle cards are talking about. Be flexible. And, and be damned. Right here. Some mental flexibility. See, and then that all kind of gets into that whole forgiveness thing. Just saying. Tauruses have a tendency to want to hold the hard line. This is what it is because we're stubborn and we don't like change and we don't understand other people changing. And if you did it before, you do it again. You know what I'm saying? Get a little flexible. Get a little flexible in your reasoning and your understanding as to why certain things may have happened. You need to get to have some adaptability in there. For others of you, it's as simple as keeping your schedule light and being flexible. So you can encounter whatever it is that you need to encounter. Remember to breathe. These are just situations based off of choices we did or didn't make. That does not give you permission to stop breathing. It don't. It just don't. So remember to breathe when things get a little stressful, a little tight, a little tense. Keep breathing, baby. Keep breathing. Let go of the past. I know it just says let go, but I'm adding extra on and shit. Let go. Let go in so much that you let go enough to let this happen, whatever this is for you. And then let go of the past. A lot of y'all trying to walk across this little thing here. and Y'all keep looking over your shoulder. You keep looking over your shoulder and you keep walking. You're going to fall in a damn ditch and break your neck. I'm just saying. And you're going to miss all the goodies over here on this side. I'm just saying. It is what it is. A lot of times we get caught up in feelings from the past and can't move forward. And then that creates a whole nother thing of stuff that you ain't trying to deal with. So let go. Let go and let the damn door opening down there. Let go so the doors can open. Clear your past so you're not hanging on to old shit so the flower can grow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why are they ghosting you? I know. It's in yellow. You can't see it. But are they ghosting you? Uh, and for some of you, that's going back to this right here. And maybe that's a question you need to ask. Are they And then I'd, I'd add it really in there. Are they really ghosting you or is something else going on? And this is not, the energy here is not as straightforward as I've got it written. Are they ghosting you? Some of y'all may just have that. He says, it's going to call me back at 10 o'clock. He has a car and it's 10.05. Come on, people. Let go. Let go so it can happen. Quit worrying about. See, and that's where you start adding on extra stress. And you're not being patient. You're worried about the bullshit. Are they ghosting you? Are you ghosting you? Are they doing? Really? Are they, where are they? Let go. Let go. And if, if something is coming back to you, it'll come back to you. You ain't got to force it. You ain't got to stand in the middle of the street with no clothes on, waving flags and shit. It will come back to you. It will. Let go. Let it happen. And asking questions like, Are, am I being ghosted? Let them know how you feel. And this is not necessarily a thing for some of you. You may need to be a little more demonstrative than you are verbal. So you may need to send a text message with emojis. I'm just saying. You may need to send an email with some extra stuff in it. But let them know. Or whatever it's res or whatever level it's resonating with you on, let them know. Let them know how you feel. Don't let this get past you, Taurus. Because you didn't open your mouth. Just saying. 
Step away from your phone. Step away from your phone. You can't be on your phone and do this. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Step away from your phone. Some of y'all are stalking folks trying to see. Because again, y'all stuck on them cups down there and not them two back there. And you stalking and Facebooking and Messenger and peeping around corners and shit and wasting gas riding around trying to see where folks are. Let it go. Let it go and let it come to you, Taurus. I promise you, all this shit ain't up on the board. This is not here for nothing. So if you're just going to focus on all of this and not realize this, this can be your outcome. For most of you, it will be if you let go. But if you keep pushing it, so just let go. I love you, Taurus. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, y'all.